we're going to teach you an easy way to get your arms in the right position at the top of the back swing. Now, most people have no idea how their arm, arms are positioned at the top of the back swing. I, really, they don't. They get, they're bent over in the golf swing, they go up the top of the back swing, they don't look at their arms and they just swing. Even when you photograph yourself, you don't have a good idea. So one, here's a quick drill. I want you to do a quick exercise with a golf club just to learn what your arms look like now at the top of the back swing. So just get in your golf position, go to the top of your back swing, and stop. Stand up straight, look forward, and look at your arms. Now this is what mine look like, and this is actually a good position. Yours may look differently. I have no idea what they look like, but I gotta tell you, before I started doing that little exercise, the first time I did it, I was shocked with my arms, the position they were in. It They were just in a terrible position. My lead arm was bent, my elbow was out and around behind me. It was terrible. But like I said, most people have no idea what their arms look like at the top of the backswing. You need to learn. Now, most people think they swing their arms in the backswing. Now, this is swinging your arms. I'm swinging this arm. And the key to know that I'm swinging the arm is because my shoulders are not moving. My body is quiet. But when I put two hands on here, all of a sudden my body becomes very active. The reason for that is you've got this triangle when you put both hands on the club. Both my arms are attached to my shoulders, both the hands to the club, and it creates this triangle. And this is a pretty solid unit. It is very inflexible. Despite what you think, despite the feeling that you're swinging your arms around you, your arms are actually very immobile in the golf swing. There's very little mobility in the golf swing. This unit here, this position, which every good golfer should start out in, has very little mobility. You can't really swing the arms around you. About the only thing you can do is fold one elbow or fold the other. Or you can fold them both, although that's not really a golf move. But you can fold one elbow or fold the other. And there's your first clue. Instead of thinking about swinging your arms or swinging your arms around your body, start thinking in terms of folding. Because when you just fold that elbow, what happens? your arm automatically comes to the right top of the backswing position. How do we know that's the right top of the backswing position? We'll let your body teach you. Again, take your club, form your triangle, and just start slowly swinging back and forth, rotating your body. Keep your arms completely relaxed. I mean completely relaxed. This is all body movement, core movement. My arms are not doing anything. And when I get to the top of a turn, I'm gonna completely stop. So I've completely stopped. What position are my arms in? Lead arm straight. Wrist is flat, club is parallel to the ground, trail arm is off my chest a little bit. Remember, I got here with completely relaxed arms. My body put me in this position. And what is this position? When I go from here and I just fold my trail arm. That's the correct top of the backswing position. It's the natural one. It's the one your body wants you to be in. 
Now I'm going to show you some drills, a series of drills that will make it easier for you to do your backswing and come into this position with your arms at the top of the backswing. Once you do these drills, you can quit having to think about where do my arms go on the top of the backswing. That'll be it. It is simple. It is not complicated. Stop making this complicated. Stop letting people make it complicated for you. You know, it seems complicated, it becomes complicated because you've been trying to find the top of the backswing from here. And with all these angles involved, it is hard to figure things out. One of the things that makes golf complicated is you're doing everything bent over, turn, twisted and turned in these weird angles. So you can't really see things straight. Once you take the angles out, things become very simple. Now, where should your arms be at the top of the backswing? When you remove all those angles out of the golf swing, they should be right here. It's that movement you should be making with your arms. Like I said, I'm going to show you several drills that will drill that in and make that movement easy and automatic. And then you can move on and forget about where should my arms be at the top of the backswing. It'll be so automatic you won't have to think about it. This is part two in the arms and the backswing tutorial. If you haven't seen part one, please go watch it. If you remember from the last video, this is what the arms actually should be doing in the backswing. When you isolate the arms, they just do this. They just fold up. Think in terms of folding your trail arm. Now we're not going to need a club for this. What this drill is, I call it hitching a ride. You take your bicep, your trail bicep for your trail arm, put it on your chest, and then put your other hand on your bicep just above the elbow. We want to stabilize this. We want to isolate it so your bicep's not moving. And then you want to take your other hand, your hand, and just hitch a ride. Hitch a ride. Hitch a ride. Just do this little hitch a ride movement. This is how your trail arm folds in the backswing. Just hitch a ride. Your trail arm is really the driver of your backswing position. Your lead arm just kind of stays straight the whole time. Your trail arm. Hitch a ride. I want you to do this a hundred times. Use a clicker. Do it in five repetition intervals. Just one, two, three, four, five. Do it at least a hundred times. Now you notice when you do this, I want you to bring your arm pretty much vertical. Okay? Vertical. When you hit your rod. Don't do it like this. Don't do, keep it halfway. It's vertical. Vertical. If anything, you should make it too vertical as opposed to not vertical enough. You'll understand in the next lesson why that makes sense. Hit your rod. Keep it vertical. Very simple movement. Uh, like I said, the back, getting to your backswing position for your arms is actually really simple. As long as you learn these little drills, I'm going to drill it into you, and you won't have any problem. Again, it's just hit your rod. Hit your rod. Hit your rod. Do that 100 times. Okay, this is the third video in the arms at the top of the backswing position series. If you haven't watched the previous two, please go watch them. Remember what we did in the last one? We just took our arm at our chest. We did hitch a rod. Hitch a rod. We tried to bring this arm just vertical with a turn. Well, now we're going to do that movement with a club in our hand. Just put your club in your hand and just 
Hitch a ride. Hitch a ride. There are two things going on here. One, you're folding this arm in the hitch a ride motion, but in the other one, you're lifting this arm up to the level of your shoulders. Just think again. Hitch a ride. The final position you're looking for has your lead arm straight and at shoulder level, the back of your wrist flat. The club is level with the ground. And your trail arm is off of your chest. Now, I spoke earlier about why you wanted to do this vertical, and this is why. It's because your lead arm is the regulator for your trail arm. As long as you keep your lead arm straight and lift it to shoulder level, this arm will come to the right position as long as you're trying to keep it vertical. So there's a little tension between these two. There's a little push out and pull in. So it's just hit your ride. Notice. That's a good position for your trail arm. And you get there just by folding and letting your lead arm come up as it's straight. Now, if you don't lift your lead arm or don't try to keep, keep this one vertical, what's gonna happen is you're gonna come down here. This is a terrible position to be in. It's way below your shoulder level. It's way too low. You're better off. This is the best position but you're better off being too high than too low. Again, you're better off being too high than too low. If anything, shoot for being too high. But learn that fold. Again, it's just hitch a ride. Hitch a ride. And this is the position at the top of your backswing for your arms. I know there are a lot of in angles involved, but your arms stay in front of your chest. It's your chest that's turning, and then you're tilting at your spine, but your arms are still in that position directly in front of your chest. Just because you turn and tilt your spine, that doesn't mean that your arm position has changed. Relative to your chest, that's your arm position, and that's what you have to learn, relative to your chest. That's why I'm having you do it straight up. We're taking all the angles out. It makes it simple. Again, the move, it's just hit your rod. That's the way I think of it. I'm just going to hit your rod. And when I start this, I give just a little push my trail arm uh, that may or may not work for you it works for me so i'm passing on the tip i get just a little push of my trail arm and then i try to pull this one vertical as i fold it and it comes right up to shoulder level i mean at this point i don't even have to think about it i've done done it so many times it's just hit your rod I'm confident if I do that in the backswing, it's going to be in the right position at the top of the backswing. Okay, this is the fourth video in the series on how to get your arms to the proper position at the top of the backswing. If you haven't watched the previous ones, please go watch them. This video will make a lot more sense if you watch them. Okay, remember in our previous videos, we learned how to hitch a rod. And we learn how to fold our arms. In this video, we're going to combine, we're going to fold our arms and we're going to turn the body. And we're going to do this standing straight up. I know it's, it's a little frustrating because it's such a small change, but you learn this change and then it'll be easier when you're down bent over. Uh, when you start turning, the feeling in your arms changes completely. You think, it really feels like you're swinging your arms around your body. But when you try to swing your arms around your body, all kinds of weird things happen. So you need to learn to make this movement 
while your shoulders are turning. And I want you to do it standing up. I want you to do it taking all the angles out of the golf swing so that you can just focus on the arm movement and none of these weird angles will come in to fool you. So the move, really straightforward. You do the fold as you're turning. So just fold and turn. Fold and turn. Fold and turn. Just think about hitching a ride as you turn. Now the way I turn, it's a shoulder movement. I don't use my hips or anything else. It's just a shoulder movement. So I'm turning my shoulders as I'm folding my arms. Now I'm not swinging around and letting the momentum put them in the right position. I could, because you know what, what position you get around if you don't do anything? If you just swing around and stop? Yeah, you're in that same position. But because I know what's going on, I can let my arms be a little bit more active in the backswing to ensure they're getting in the right spot. And because I've drilled it in so many times before I've turned, and I hope you have too, drilled it in just 100, 200, 300 times. Do it till you're just sick of doing it. Then come on to this drill. And then do this drill till you're sick of doing it. We want to make this automatic, where you don't even have to think about it in your golf swing. So just take your arms, put it in the position, and turn and fold. Again, just turn and fold. Now what I'm doing as I'm turning, so I explained before, I get just a little push with my lead arm. Just a little push, and then I, that starts my turn. That's kind of my trigger is my for my back turn. Just a little push, and as I'm doing my back turn, I'm folding my trail arm and letting my lead arm come up to shoulder level. It's the same movement that you did here, only now we're turning the shoulders. Again, do that drill a hundred times. Do it standing straight up. Do it till you're sick of doing it, and then do it some more. Drill it in till it's automatic. Drill it in till you get, can get to that position at the top without even thinking about it. And again, remember, the arms stay in front of your chest. It's going to feel, what, while you're doing this, like they're swinging around your body. They are not swinging. What you're feeling is as your body turns, its energy gets transferred to the arms and down to the club head. And what you're actually feeling is that energy actually ends up going into the toe of your club head, believe it or not. Not the not the shaft and not the head it actually goes out to the furthest part which is the toe that's why it wants to turn that energy is actually pulling your arm in a turn and that's why it feels like it's you're swinging around believe it or not the toe of your club is actually pulling your arms around Again, I don't know if I've mentioned it in the previous videos, but you should know that this lead arm rotates as it goes back. I, I don't think you even can do this. Make sure the lead arm rotates. You want your, the back of your hand pointing to the sky in a flat wrist. It's just, and it's an arm rotation, it is not a hand rotation, okay? Just let your arm rotate up. It should go to that position naturally, as I showed you in the swinging exercises. Notice that it squares naturally, and it rotates naturally, and it naturally gets in that position. 
Uh, the reason it does that is, as I explained before, the force from your turn, the energy works its way down its arm through the clubs into the toe of the club. And golf clubs are built so that they rotate around the shaft. And it is the toe of the club, because it's offset, that is making your arms rotate. It's all that energy that gets stored up in the toe. I know it's hard to believe that the toe is manipulating your arms, but it is. Anyway, the move, just hit your right and turn. Hit your right and turn. Now I want you to do that a hundred times. Get your clicker, do it in five increments or increments of five. Just one, two, three, four, don't lose your balance, five. Then click off five. It's been shown that when you try to do repetitions, if you just go through them all at once, you don't learn as much as, as, as if you do a few, stop, do a few more, and stop. You'll drill in more if you do it that way. So do five at a time, and then do at least 100 in total. If it takes you more than 100, do more than 100. Do it till you're sick of it. Do it till you can do it without thinking about it. Okay, this is video number five in the arms at the top of the backswing series. If you haven't watched the previous ones, please watch them. Okay, remember what we've done so far. We've learned how to hitch a rod. We've learned how to fold our arms. We've learned how to fold our arms and turn. Now we're going to learn how to take our golf stance and fold our arms. Everything's building up to this. We've done everything standing up so it becomes simpler mentally to visualize what we're doing and learn what we're doing. We're taking all the angles out of the golf swing. Now we're adding them back in. Hopefully you've drilled this movement so much that it will become automatic when you do it. So just take your golf club. Pick your golf stance and go do your backswing and hitch a rod. Stand up and turn straight. Now look at your arms and make sure they're in the right position. Remember what is the right position? Your lead arm should be straight, not ramrod straight, but straight and at shoulder level. In fact, your palm should be flat. Your club should be level with the ground. Your trail arm should be off your chest. But in front of your chest, that's the right position for your arms at the top of the back swing. Again, just keep doing this. Come up to your top of your back swing position and stand up straight and look at your arms. Now this will be interesting for you. Remember in the first lesson I told you to do that drill. Come to the top of your backswing position, stand up straight, and take a good look at your arms. Compare how they look then to how they look now. And compare, to, compare how easy it was to get into this top of the backswing position now as it was before. Before you had to think you were struggling, it just didn't seem right. Now they just go. And it's literally one thing you can just check off your golf list that you don't have to think about on the course. Again, just take your stance. We're just get, gonna go to the top. And then we're gonna stand up straight and look at our position. Do that in increments of five. Thank <laughs> you.
Just take your position. Remember, just turn like you're taking your standard practice swing. If you're not getting your arm level, uh, you may feel like you need to pull or lift your arm a little bit. That's fine. Or lift your uh, lead arm. But when you stand back up, you want that lead arm square with the ground. And that's how you take your uh, arm position at the top of the backswing. It's not complicated. Don't make it complicated. Uh, it becomes complicated when you throw the angles in. Really, you take the angles out, and it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm.